How important is it to understand the duty cycle when selecting a fan drive? The duty cycle is really the key determinant uh, for us here at Borg Warner in selecting the proper fan drive that you spec on the truck. I, one of the things that Borg Warner, we as an engineering company, really pride ourselves on is a very wide portfolio uh, of products. We have on-off products, we have electronically managed viscous products, we have air sense viscous products, and we have a wet friction clutch. Each one of those gives benefits in different duty cycle types. Let me give you an example of that. In a, in a route, an on-highway type of route, where you have a significant amount of time being spent at cruise mode, there are very few cooling events that are going to cause fan drive engagements. So what you're looking for there is you're looking for a fan drive solution that has very low parasitic losses. The on-off fan clutch, the Kaiser clutch, shines in that, in that area. Very low disengage speed, very low parasitic losses. It's ideal for a, a long haul uh, application. However, if you get off-road and you get into a dump truck or a cement mixer application where you have a great deal of transients that are driving the fan activity, you don't want an on-off fan clutch. Every time that fan drives come fully, it comes fully on, then you create a lot of dust and debris that can clog your radiator. So not only is it a, an annoyance for the driver, does it rob power from your driver, but it also can clog radiators and drop in the cooling efficiency of the heat exchanger. So it's really important in that event that you have a fan drive that only comes on partially, only, only what you need. So when you get off highway in a vocational type of application, you want to look at a variable speed product, preferably an electronically managed one, because we work very closely with the OEMs to calibrate the fan drive so that it's giving just the right amount of cooling that the heat exchanger needs to be able to satisfy that event. And it's, it's really important that as you buy your trucks, as you spec your trucks on what fan drive is on there, that you consider the clutch as a key contributor to to the durability of your truck and also the efficiency of your truck. Another thing that Borg Warner prides itself on that I'm very proud of is that we are probably one of the more experienced in understanding how these duty cycles manifest themselves in the duty cycle of a fan clutch. You have the truck duty cycle that needs to be matched with the fan clutch duty cycle. That's very important. So, how do we determine which one is the best one? How do we make recommendations to our customers? Well, we're not going to guess. So what we've done is we've gone out and we instrument vehicles, several vehicles, for a given duty cycle. And we will go and we will run a cooling trip or we will run a real world case. We'll collect all that information over several months usually and we'll boil all that information down and it gives us solid concrete evidence as to which fan clutch is giving you the most and the ideal one for, for your duty cycle. So it's very important that we understand what the duty cycle of our fan drives is in your duty cycle for your trucks. So we have focused our attention there in the past several years and built a really tremendous library of different duty cycle types. These include dump trucks, cement mixers, mining applications, logging applications, and on highway, long haul type of applications. We've gone in and we've put monitoring equipment on each one of these types of duty cycles, ran them for several months, brought that data back here to our technical facility, and we've boiled it down. And we use that in two ways. One, to predict what type of fan clutch duty cycle you'll get in that type of vehicle operation. But also, we want to understand how that leads to the end durability of our product. So we take all that information and that's the test criteria. That helps build the test criteria that we run here at our technical facility to validate our product. So when we make a recommendation, not only do we know that it's going to perform very well in the vehicle, but it's going to be very durable as well.